Yeah, I think I'm I'm ready. Uh, I'm practicing well, uh, and uh, obviously, I'm super excited to to play my first match here in the US Open again. So uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Questions, Richard. Richard Osborne from USOpen.org. Nice to see you. Wanted to ask you a little bit about Novak. Your your matchups with him are really turning into a nice rivalry for this sport. And I wondered when you look at him as a player, what are the things that you take away most that you might model in your own approach to the game? Well, uh, obviously he's one of the greatest of all time. You know, from from a sport that uh, no no doubts about about it. So. Uh, Everything he does in in the game is unbelievable. So uh, probably his uh, uh, mental rock. I'm gonna say he he never give up. You know, uh, um, I mean, tough tough moment. Probably he he shows that uh, he's down and uh, he he's gonna lose. And he's always. Uh, uh, give uh, the the chance to to himself to uh, keep playing and uh, be able to to win it. So probably that's the the, the most important thing that the, he has, and uh, I try to uh, to take in in my own game. You know, in the like in the final that uh, we we played, uh, it was it, it was exactly the same that uh, I'm talking about, and. That's uh, something that uh, I learned and uh, I'll try to, to do in my, my young game. On the left-hand side, Willie. <laughs> Willie Weinberg from ESPN. <laughs> Carlos, how would you describe how your life and your thinking are different today than they were one year ago? Well, my life changed a lot. Uh, a lot. Uh, probably it's a uh, different life, uh, talking about the, the way that you know, I'm more, let's say, more, fam more famous. Uh, a lot of people is starting to to know my name uh, after after the US Open last year, for example. But uh, you know, the personal life didn't change at all. I'm the same guy, a normal guy, and uh, obviously, I feel that I'm more mature on on court. Uh, I feel that I'm a better player than I was uh, a year ago. Even that, even I got my first Grand Slam last year, but I feel like I'm more mature and uh, I'm I'm better. Okay. Uh, no shooting from the seats, please. Excuse me. No shooting from the seats. Thank you very much. Andrew, go ahead. Andrew Jones from ESPN Anscape. Carlos, your growing friendship with Jimmy Butler continues in that way. Where do you feel you replace Sasha as his? favorite tennis player with how Sasha is close with Jimmy and wanted just to ask you what's your favorite thing to do in New York um, besides obviously win a Grand Slam sorry the first question what it was your growing friendship with Jimmy Butler and how you and Sasha are close with Jimmy from him being a Miami Heat fan Sasha's era yeah I mean uh, I think he uh, well Sasha know Jimmy a uh, long time ago uh, and uh, you know I started to to know him like uh, one one year ago to, to have a, a close relationship that is pretty well he's a really uh, huge fan of, of tennis as well he he tried to play and uh, it's uh, I think it's great you know for, for for tennis as well to have Jimmy coming to, to the tournaments and uh, support uh, supporting us so it's uh, it's great uh, and talking about me to to have him supporting me uh, a great athlete uh, NBA star so it's for me for me it's crazy to have a, a good relationship with uh, someone like like Jimmy and uh, I like to play golf uh, here in New York as well uh, you know it's a really huge city uh, so many so many things to do so many uh, places to to visit so I'm just uh, walk around the the most famous places here in in New York. Great restaurants as well. Uh, I'm try to to do a, a lot of things while I'm I'm here in New York. Any favorite restaurant? Uh, not for everyone, but uh, I like some some of those. <laughs> Carlos in the back. Hi, Carlos. Um, one Carlos Ferrero I don't think was with you in Canada, but then he was in Cincinnati. I was just wondering, could you explain? 
kind of the difference you feel on court when he's not there versus when he is there and how helpful it is to you to have him on the side of the court? Well, uh, obviously for me it's uh, always great to have Juan Carlos with, with me, but uh, I understand that uh, he cannot travel the, the, the full year. He, he, even that uh, he's traveling the, the 90 percent of the of the tournaments, but sometimes he he has to take to take care about his his family as well. So, uh, you know, I have a, a really good coach who, uh, when he's not there. That uh, is Tony. That is Tony. That he he was Juan Carlos coach when he was playing and he became number one of the world. So he's really nice co nice coach as well. And you know, I don't feel any difference uh, if. Juan Carlos is there or not? Because I know that uh, I surrounded by great professional and uh, great great coaches when he's not there as well. Okay, Chris. Carlos, it's Chris Otto with U.S. Open. As a defending champ, I'm wondering if, in your mind, it's a little bit more complicated, maybe a little bit more challenging this year. Probably, but uh, I try not to think about about that. Uh, this week, this practice week is. Uh, I try to to do uh, the exactly exactly the same thing, you know, that I did last year, uh, trying to to practice uh, the same way that I'm gonna play and focus focus on that. Not I'm not uh, focus on the defending champion, the points or, or whatever. I'm just focus on uh, show my best level, try to improve in every practice and. Uh, Let's see how it's gonna how it's gonna be the tournament. Okay, take a couple more questions. When you're walking around cities like New York, do you enjoy the fact that people recognize you, or would you rather be able to do it without people knowing who you are? Uh, sometimes I like it, sometimes not. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you you want to. Uh, you know, feel like a normal guy to walk normally and. You know, here in New York, there are a lot of Spanish people, uh, South American people as well. So uh, it's uh, it's difficult for me to to walk normally sometimes. And yeah, I, I wish some some days to uh, be someone that not not recognized at all. But uh, it's gonna be impossible, and uh, I have to uh, to enjoy that that part as well. But sometimes it makes it difficult. Okay. Meredith, you have the last question. Hey there, Mary Cash from Insider. Uh, looks like you're wearing a Jordan shirt and Jordan hat. Um, I was curious, it sounds like you're a basketball fan. Like, are you a big fan of his in particular? And would you pick him in the NBA GOAT debate? <laughs> well, uh, I started to, to follow the, the NBA not too far ago. Uh, obviously, I hear a lot, a lot about uh, basketball, about uh, NBA, but uh, I didn't watch it uh, so much. Obviously, I've watched a lot of videos, and uh, everybody knows Michael and what he he did to to the game. So it, it was something uh, unbelievable, and uh, I'm a huge fan of him, a huge fan of uh, his clothes as well, as uh, you can see. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna talk about the goat. Uh, but uh, it's not a doubt that uh, he's one of, of those.